Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Spotlight. Um, I kind of have a very, very long queue now, like, with uh, with all the people requesting spotlights for monsters. So I'm kind of just going down the list, uh, making this along with other videos throughout the day. And usually these, I don't I don't think I'm going to make them too long. Um, I kind of do these, a lot of times I do these for my my viewers if they have a monster that they want to show to to um to my other viewers if they want to show show their, show off their monsters to anyone um this is this is Banov. he's not i don't think he's he's kind of a progressing player right now he actually has been uh requesting me to do a spotlight for any one of his monsters and um you know he, he hasn't really decided which one he wants to wants to do um but yeah, he, he currently said he wants to try to show this uh, show this Water Valk at level 50 EVO 2. Now this is a lot of, um, if you're a progressing player moving on to B10 and you chose the Water Valk as your contract hero, um, it should very it should be very easy to get her to max level. All you have to do is level her because she comes as a nat 5. And to get her to EVO 2, you will need to use 3 Gleams, which should not be too hard because um, early, even early on, if you just do your PvP, um, do, do some... Do some PvP fights. You will be able to buy buy some gleams. You know, in two weeks you'll get two gleams. If you do, um, if you just wait for the login, uh, the daily login, you'll also get plus the daily missions. Um, if you make sure to do those, you'll get two more holy gleams. And if you're at the point where you can get to TOC um, floor 50, you also get a, a, a third holy gleam. So you can actually use those to gleam up your Valks um, if you're a progressing player. Uh, and it's definitely possible to clear TOC 50 like within a month if you're if you're playing every single day and like farming a lot and progressing really really fast. Um, I, it, I think it's definitely possible to um, get to get to TOC 50 as well. So yeah, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too hard because um, the Water Valk, if, even if you chose her as your contract hero, it does take a few days because you have to log in for 15 days straight and you have to log in for seven days before that for the Victoria. Uh, login reward so that's basically three weeks you have to already be playing three weeks before you receive her and then you have to level her to max and get her to evil to um, to kind of get stats like these now I don't really agree with the way he's he's gen this Valk he went with crit rate um, defense and resist the attack stat of this monster is actually quite quite low if you gem her like this you know as you can see she doesn't have too much attack uh, I do say a lot of times that resist is really quite important but the the problem is uh you you don't really want to put a, invest the whole gem into resist. I don't think it's necessarily worth it because it's more of a secondary stat. Um, even early on, if you like, it's not that important to absolutely cap out resi your resist and sacrifice you know other key stats like attack and defense and HP. If you took a look at my um, you know gem sorting guide that I made yesterday, I actually talked a little bit about this. If you're a progressing player, um, the most important stats to you are definitely just HP, attack, and defense. Just basically, if you try to raise up those three stats, you don't have to worry too much about crit rate, crit damage, um, or resist. That's kind of a little bit too hard to push up. But the the good thing is if you're if you're farming Pagos Coast, you will be able to get some conviction gems. So if you put just three um, random four star conviction gems together that are like HP, defense, attack, she'll actually perform relatively well. I don't think it matters too much because she is a nat 5, she does, and she is evil too, so she will have very, very nice stats. Now, to, to kind of pair her up, I'll put in some random, uh, random water monsters that I have level 50, at level 50. And I think they should be gemmed up, but I'm not, I'm not too sure if they, they have gems. Alright, this one doesn't have gem. I'm pretty sure my Leo has gem. All right, this water Leo has has a little bit of gems, so I guess I'll use her as use him as leader, and then I'll throw in some random uh, random four stars. Now, um, I'll I'll throw in these two Indras because they they actually do have some gems, although they're not very very good. They're only powered up to plus three, so I think they're stat wise they're not um, they're not too. They're not all too good stat-wise, but I think it should be fine because they they are nat fives, um, even if they're evil one. A lot of new players don't know this. I'll take this opportunity to kind of um, give you guys this this little tip for newer players. Um, if you're comparing the stats of five like evil one five stars, they're basically almost um, slightly lower than the stats of an evil three. Um, three star basically 
and that is evil three three stars that are summonable. Now the the farmable monsters on the map, like the Monas, the the Mihos, and the the Cocos, um, those farmable monsters actually have increased stats. They actually have more like better stats compared to other three stars. So you can take a look at other um, random three stars versus the ones that are farmable on the maps. So if you have an evil three version, like for example an evil three Mona or an evil three um, Miho, they actually have very very high stats, and they can actually their stats can actually outweigh an evil three uh, or or an evil one nat five basically. But an evil two nat five should have better stats than an evil. Should have better stats than an evil three nat um, nat three. Yeah, that's 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 what I meant to say. But anyways, we're just gonna go in with this. Um, I think my gems aren't too good, but I'll, we'll just go in with the water team and just to kind of show that you can you can basically do. Uh, do do B8 with just some random water monsters. They don't even have to have like really really good gems, and you'll still be able to auto them. Um, as long as if you if you're using three stars, they're evil three. If you're using two stars, I would recommend you get them to evil two, and they will need slightly better gems because stat wise, they're not as good as an evil three. Like an evil two nat four is not as good as an evil three um, nat three. That's 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 what I mean to say basically. Alright, the Valk's definitely the, the one doing the most damage on the team, because she has evil 2 and she has gemmed up. Um, but if you did choose your the Water Valk as your contract hero, she will be about, like, relatively this, this strong if you get her to evil 2 and have her gemmed up with some um, random 4 star gems. But I, I definitely think if you use, you know, just HP, defense, and attack gems, um, if you gem her, you can gem her with actually HP, double attack, because they... They're fire monsters, they don't actually hit too hard, so you don't have to worry too much about dying. Um, you'll actually have a lot better results because I think BA is mostly about doing as much damage as possible. If you can do a lot of damage to them, it means that they, they aren't able to kill you. Um, it's, it's more of a damage test, if anything. BA is really just about trying to... Um, do as much damage, you know, in in your turn because you get the advantage as the player. You get to go first, and if you can do enough damage to maybe kill one of the units, um, your runs become very very stable. And if you're, you know, going on to the third wave and second wave, and you have your, um, you have your 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 bars full, like the all your units have their bars up. Um, you'll you'll try to be like if your monsters are gem mostly with attack. They'll have enough damage if they're water monsters to kind of completely clear the wave. So yeah, that that was uh, that was pretty much it. Um, it wasn't too it wasn't too long, but I hope hopefully you guys learned something. Um, I think this was a pretty good opportunity because the water valk at this level is also a like a lot of progressing players will have her at this level. Um, they might ne not necessarily be able to make an evil three version of the water valk, but a lot of players like if they chose the water valk because she's a She's a contract um, monster. If you choose her, then you basically get her for free. So she, she you can actually get her for free um, if you just play the game for three weeks, basically. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to just wanted to show that really quick. And if you guys have any um, monsters that you want me to spotlight, I I am going to open a um, official Discord channel, like or yeah, a, an official Discord channel for monster spotlight requests because I, I started with a few people wanting monster spotlights and this is like I have a very long list now like it's getting it's getting uh, hard to organize and I have people asking me in comments but it's hard to go back and check and if I forget like they're not they're not like on the list or something like that um, but yeah anyone that I think most people that have me on as a friend um, I have them on a list and if I haven't added you yet it, it might mean that I I might have missed your comment or I, you, you asked me, and then I, um, I asked you what your in-game name was, and then you replied, and then I never found your comment after that. <laughs> um, that that actually might happen. YouTube has a very, very bad like comment system. It's very hard to reply a second time um, or find comments that you need to follow up on on YouTube. It's it's super super difficult. So I'm gonna open up a official. Um, you know, uh, official channel on my or a channel on my Discord. Probably, I'll probably call it Monster Spotlight just for for people that want to um, do Monster Spotlights.
But anyways, that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.